Welcome, welcome everybody. It's been a while. Y'all haven't seen me in a minute. I'm back. Cat's main ingredient. Today, main ingredient will be salmon. We're going to do some pan fried salmon with some potato cakes. So y'all just be sit back, relax, be patient a little bit, and we're about to get down. So once again, it's going to be pan fried salmon with either a mango puree or a avocado puree. I'm not quite sure which one just yet, but rest assured you will get one or the other okay so first thing first we got the salmon i got some of the salmon pre-seasoned you know i'm saying not much to it salmon is real easy to cook all you need to do is do a little bit of black pepper on both sides if you notice the salmon has come pre-breaded that's all you need to do real quick just a little bit of black pepper. If you got like Larry sauce or garlic powder, whatever it is you got, you could use it also. But for this particular menu, we're just gonna go with just some um, just basic, real fresh ground pepper. So once everything is pre-seasoned, what you need to do now, the pot is hot. Go to the fridge, get your butter. And get your olive oil okay just a little bit of olive oil just make sure the bottom is covered and just a little tablespoon of butter okay there you go so once it's hot you're gonna lay your salmon right down on it and that This is real quick, real easy. You come home from work, you don't want to stay in like hours in the kitchen. Salmon is real simple. 15, 20 minutes and it's done. And due to the fact that we got the leftover potatoes from Christmas, we gotta mash it, you know what I'm saying? Hook it up with some butter, you know, a little bit of flour. We're gonna fry it up a little bit and we should be straight. Make sure you stay close to the stove. This is something you can't really walk away from, okay? And then once it's done, just go to just flip it. Just go to flip them all. Make sure you open it or the preset to like say 350 degrees. So once it's finished frying right here, we're gonna move it straight to the oven for another 15, 20 minutes, then we should be good. Okay, so while that's being on, um, while this time is doing what it does, doing what it do, we're gonna go to the, um, the potatoes. Okay, so potatoes is real simple. You just need some flour, some butter, and the potatoes. Once again, season to taste. Just a little bit of salt. I'm not big on the salt, so we're gonna leave the salt to a mini, mini, mini more. Okay, a little bit of black pepper. And then all you gotta do is just mash your potatoes. I ain't got a potato masher, so what I'm gonna do, since I ain't got a potato masher, I'm gonna use my fingers and put my fingers up in here. But no, I'm not, I'm just, I'm just playing with the fingers. So we're just gonna mash the potatoes. As I said, these are just leftovers from Christmas. Can't remember, I wanna see what's happening in the bowl. Get the butter. Look in there. I wish I had a, I wish I had a potato masher. Potato masher. I'm sure there's another word for it, but we're going to use potato masher for now. If y'all want to write in, email, text, Instagram, Facebook, and just tell me the proper term for potato masher. Okay, get the, get the flour. And this is the basic ingredient for potato cakes. A little bit more butter. Here we go, we're gonna make the little potato cakes. Just like little dumb pans, dumb pans. Okay. As I said once again, you could just season this to your liking, to your taste. There's no real need to 
add anything that you won't like yourself. Like if you love salt, which I don't recommend, you can do the salt. If you like Larry, which I recommend because Larry goes with everything. You understand? Larry really did give me a sponsorship. Because I'm always mentioning Larry in my stuff. Okay? But once you get your potato cakes all formed in the little dumpling kind of donut shape, you go back to the stove. Make sure it's nice and hot. Go back to the good old faithful olive oil. And once again, as long as the bottom is covered, that's all you really need. Cover the bottom, we should be good to go. And once again, obviously the pitas are pre-baked, so it's not going to take a lot of time for this. Once each side gets nice and brown, or tan, or chocolate, like your boy right here, chocolate is a good color. And we should be good to go. So once again, we have a pan-fried salmon with potato cakes. Now put some meat on your bone. Meat on your bone, baby. Some meat on your bone. That's me. Okay. So as I said, it's gonna take another around five, six minutes. And once it's brown, golden brown on both sides, we take it out and so we're gonna plate it. We're gonna make a presentation. But well, once this is getting a little fried, we're gonna go ahead and um, I think I'm gonna go with avocado. No, I'm gonna do a mango puree. Just gonna spread the mango puree either on top, bottom, the side. So we're gonna throw mango, we're gonna get the blender, we're gonna blend the mango, um, a little bit of honey, and that's gonna give a nice little tangy mango flavor. Mango puree. So I went to the farmer's market, I got me a brand new mango. When I say brand new, this mango just came out the boat. From Kenya, Africa, now this one mixed the mango right here. So, so we already got the honey. We're gonna go ahead and just um, get, remove all the skin. Grab the mango. Y'all probably saw an episode I did a few months ago with a mango spinach salad. And had a little kid at a mango tree in my front yard. I what y'all know about that. You don't have to go too far to get my mango. That's it. You slice it up real nice. We're gonna blend this with some honey. And we should be good to go. Usually I bite, take a little sneak peek, a little sneak piece of this, but I'm not gonna do it this time because that's not cool. And behind me, my cakes are still frying. So I'm going to flip them one time. That takes the frying real nice. Mango's all cut up real nice. Pour a little bit of honey and just a little bit of orange juice. Not a lot. Okay. Now we're gonna go with a magic bullet. All right, so we'll walk over. This is called a magic bullet, son. I had no idea this how it works. <laughs> My first time. <laughs> Let's get the salmon real quick. That magic bullet kind of surprised me real quick. Okay. I wish you guys right here could smell this. Just gotta get a good grip. This glove right here. It'll be really embarrassing if I just drop this in my brain. Okay? So there you have it. The salmon is done. Potato cakes are done. Mango puree is done. The next step, we're going to plate this. Come back. I don't know who's going to help me either, but I'll find somebody. And this is it. Same. Mango puree. Salmon cake with potato patties. Everything is done. Now it's probably the second most important part of your meal, presentation. Presentation is always key. Sometimes it does not matter how good the food is. If it looks like crap, immediately in your mind, it's gonna taste like crap. Okay, so I, I pry at my presentation. 
first thing they do, they reach for the camera phone, they start snapping away, Instagram. That sends a real nice message. That means it's visually stimulating. Yeah, I think I said that right. But anyhow, let's go first thing first with the mango array. We're gonna put this a little bit on the bottom. You understand? Just a little bit on the bottom. We'll put potato cake and the salmon. Then the salmon. Once again, as I said, presentation is key. So we're just gonna use some of the mango puree. Just put across the top of your salmon right here. It is virtually impossible to go wrong with mango and honey. If you don't like mango and honey, shoot, you got some serious problems. And there you have it. I am done. Salmon, potato cakes with a mango puree. Once again, this is your boy, Cat from Cat's Made Ingredients. This is how we do it. Stay tuned. I got tons of show coming. Right now, I'm on my way to, no, no, my homeboy, my cousin's on his way over. So we're going to do something else in the kitchen. So stay tuned. All right. Peace.